Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We are really excited, as always, to be joined by our good friend Steve Benchwall from Wisconsin Business World. Steve, welcome back to the studio. Hey, it's great to be here. It's always good to have you. So remind us again, what is Wisconsin Business World? Sure. So Business World is a program for high school kids, and we offer our programs in two ways. We have an overnight summer camp where we get the kids on a college campus for almost a full week, and we're able to put them through the paces of running a business, and they have a great experience. But we also have what we call mini business worlds, and we hold those during the school year, and they're one day more like a business conference, and we travel all around Wisconsin and put those programs on. Very cool. Now, I understand that the Dane County uh, mini business world is coming up very shortly. Can you tell us a little bit more about that event? Sure, yeah. That's coming up at the end of the month, uh, January 30th. And what we're really excited about for that one is it's our biggest mini business world. So we're going to have over 250 kids there from all the Dane County high schools. Um, every high school in the area is invited. Some are able to participate, some aren't, depending on what their schedule is back at school. Um, but we get really excited about that because we get a really diverse group of kids from, from bigger cities and smaller towns. And um, we have an absolutely awesome day with the kids. American Family Insurance plays host, so we'll be out there. Uh, on January 30th and looking forward to having a great day with the kids. Very cool, very cool. So what kinds of things are they going to be doing during the day at yeah. the Mini Business World? So we put the kids into a, a company for the day and it's about five, six or seven kids and they're basically tasked with taking over this old, sleepy, outdated company that needs some new leadership. Mm -hmm. So there's this new management team, high school kids that get brought in and they need to think of a new product to sell and a new marketing campaign. Um, what should our company look like? What does it sound like to our customers? And how do we brand it so that they want to buy our products? So basically kind of taking over uh, and rebuilding a business. Exactly. Yep. That's a really cool challenge. Now, um, a lot of kids might hear the word business and say, well, I'm not taking business classes right now, so maybe that's not for me. Sure. Do you have to be, uh, do students have to be involved in business classes to no, participate? No, they don't. And we see some of the uh, most positive experiences come from kids who aren't in business classes. Maybe they thought that that wasn't for me or I'm not good with numbers, so I don't want to be in accounting or I don't think I'd be good at marketing, but they get to mini business world or our summer business world and they kind of get a taste of it and see that it's not as scary as they thought maybe not as hard as they thought and and usually they're a lot better at it than they thought and we've had some really cool um, kids come through the program that have come back and said if it weren't for business world I don't think I would have gone into marketing or I don't think I would have gone into accounting and it's pretty powerful when you hear those kind of testimonials that's that is very powerful yeah. so what what and all do you hope that the kids um, take away from their day at mini business sure so there's lots of business 101 how do you write a resume how do you interview what's some mission statements they'll take away a lot of business skills but I think personally the most important thing for the kids is kind of just the sense of self-confidence that mm -hmm. I can try something new that I've never done before and I'm gonna be just fine even if I don't do great at it the first time I'm gonna be okay um, leadership skills. So you're put in a group of seven kids that you don't know from schools that maybe you've never even heard of and you got to work together. You got to put yourself out there, um, you know, make your voice heard right. and make sure you're working together and, and cooperating with the, with the kids in your group. So. You know, what I think one of the things that's really cool about, uh, you and I have had a number of conversations now about Business World, yeah. um, is that you don't necessarily need to have a, even a desire to go into business or you don't need to necessarily go into business after participating in Business World. There's so many skills that you learn yeah. just by participating. Yep. You know, no, no matter what career these kids go into, they're going to need those interpersonal skills. Right. And a lot of that's lost today, right? We kind of bury ourselves in our phone and we kind of lose those, the ability to relate to somebody one on one and kind of how do you interact with people on a daily basis. So. Right on, right on. Anything else you want to add about uh, Business World? Uh, just one last quick plug for the sponsors that make that Dane County program possible. American Family Insurance plays host. Align Energy is also another lead sponsor, and M3 Insurance Solutions for Business here in town helps out as well. So we want to make sure that we thank them and, and let everybody watch and know that they're the ones that kind of made that day possible. Absolutely. And if somebody wanted to sign up for the Mini Business mm -hmm. World, they can just check out your website then? Check out the website, Wisconsin Business World, the Google search. You'll find all of our social media platforms. And hopefully, uh, one of the business education teachers at their high school would also know about it too. So that if they are at school, they could just check in with the business ed department, and hopefully someone would point them in the right direction. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Steve, it's a pleasure as always to have you in our studio. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town. Stay right here on CW57.